Bro, you're capping. I'm telling you, you said you wanted to fight Bryson after school. Damien, Damien, Damien. We were literally there too. That's not what he said. I know what I heard, Avery. Bro, you're capping. 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 Bro, you're you guys want to come? Nah, I'll probably just go to that party at Eli's house. Who goes to a party on the way? Yeah, I think Christian's going to pick me up too. I'm pretty sure we're going to that too. Ava, you could really do better than that. Hey ladies, I'm looking for a hot girl named Ava. <laughs> Oh, you're just forgetting my name now, Ava? Oh, yeah, my bad, Garrett. Let me see. I'm not good at Christian Thomasy. Uh, all right. And the Lord came and stood calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak for your servant hears. Just as Samuel heard the voice of the Lord calling to him, so can we. You can hear the voice of the Lord. Philip, in the book of Acts, y'all remember Philip? God told Philip to go to the road that led from Jerusalem to Gaza. Philip didn't know why. He didn't know why the Lord had told him to go to that road. But when he got there, he met the Ethiopian eunuch who had never heard the gospel, and he was able to share the full gospel of Jesus Christ with that man. So we all need to be looking for those opportunities, just like Philip, just like Samuel, to hear the voice of the Lord and to obey it. Yeah, Damien, what you got, man? So I guess my question is, how do you know it's the voice of God? How do you know it's not the devil talking to you? I mean, it seems to me like some people have made huge, huge mistakes thinking they hear from God. Isn't the entire Mormon belief system based off a dude that thought he heard God say something? Yeah, Damien, you're absolutely right. We've got to be cautious because there's so many voices vying for our attention. The voice of the enemy, the voice of our family and friends who sometimes don't hear from the Lord and just have their own opinions. But here's the thing. We always have to start with this, with Scripture. This is infallible. It is never wrong. So anything that you feel like the Lord is telling you is not going to contradict this word. Tell me something. If the Lord came to you in the future and told you to, to divorce your wife, do you think that's the Lord speaking to you? Well, no, I don't figure. Exactly. See, the Lord will never tell us something that's going to change our theology or beliefs or change what Scripture means. It will always line up with what this word says. God may tell us to go, to stay, to speak, or to stay silent without changing our theology. Lord, I pray that you will protect my family and friends, Lord. And I also pray that people all around the world will come to you. God, I just want one chance, one opportunity to hear your voice and respond. I'll do whatever you ask me, Lord. Amen. Don't do it! Jesus loves you! Don't do it! Jesus loves you! Don't 
Christian. I know, like, I don't know. I'm just so done. Like, you don't give me what I want. I'm just so over it. We can't just take one night off. Just shut up. Shut up. What's that little kid doing here? Do you not see what's going on? Are they doing breaking up again? I guess so. He's always talking to me about it when he's with me. Are you serious? What does he say about me? He's always talking about how he hates taking care of her and listening to her family. So many things have gotten worse since she started to live with him. It's probably because he's mean to her. He's my friend, but he's a jerk. Please, Christian, no. Like, you're all I have. I don't care, Ava. I'm so sick of you. How am I supposed to get home? Just find a way and find a place. I, I don't care. Hey girl, if you didn't arrive with me tonight, then I'll come visit you. No, Jesus, it's okay. My aunt just lives down the street, so I'll just go to her house. Girl, are you sure? Yeah, Jesus, I'm sure, but thank you. God, please, I do not know what to do. I hate myself. Everybody hates me. God, I don't even know if you're real, but if you are, can you please just show me? If you really love me, just tell me. Don't do it! Jesus loves you! One more time. Don't do it! Jesus loves you! <laughs> God, if that's really you, can you just tell me one more time? Don't do it! Jesus loves you! Pastor Adam, Pastor Adam, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, hey Damien, man, what you got? Come on in. I did the craziest thing the other night. Crazy? What do you mean crazy? God told me to go into that alleyway on 5th Street and yell into it. You just yelled into the alleyway? Like, angrily, or? No, no. Like, he told me to yell, don't do it, Jesus loves you. He told me to yell it three times. And then I just went home. I get that it wasn't necessarily safe, and my mom would kill me if she knew I left the house at that time of night. What time was it? It was like 2 in the morning, but man, Adam, I, I just, I guess I just don't know if I really heard from him, you know? I don't know if I did the right thing. Well, Damien, you know, sometimes we ne may never know if we did the right thing. We can't see everything God's doing. Sometimes we're just a piece of the puzzle. But you, you felt like you did the right thing, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, I just felt a piece about it. Well then, Damien, we'll just trust and pray that God will maybe show you why he had you do that. Pastor! 
Adam, Pastor Adam, you gotta come to the youth room. Is is somebody hurt? Somebody's actually here to meet you. Ava, Judith. Hi, Damien. What are you guys doing here? I'm here because I need Jesus, Damien. Ava, Judith, I'm Pastor Adam. It's good to have you all with us today. It's good to be here, Pastor Adam. Thank you. You, you say you're coming because you need Jesus. What made you realize that, Ava? Well, Wednesday night, I had an experience. What do you mean an experience, Ava? Did you see something? I was in the alleyway on 5th Street, and I heard a voice. I believe God brought you here today, Ava. I believe you ordered your steps. Ava, I think I know who you heard in the alleyway the other night. I do too. I heard the voice of God. I heard Jesus, and I just want more of him.